Alright, in this video I'll be sharing with you some Vim editing shortcuts that will make you more productive and efficient when you're editing your files. If you're not familiar with Vim, Vim is basically a very fast and lightweight text editor that is notorious for having a very steep learning curve. So I think it definitely takes a lot of practice in order to get used to the different shortcuts that you can use. What I would say is that you don't have to get down all the shortcuts that are here. Just starting to use one or two of these shortcuts in your workflow will already make you much more efficient and productive. So let's dive right in. First, I'm going to open up a file using Vim, which I already have prepared. So basically what we have here is a Java file that I have not finished editing. And if you have noticed, I've actually left out a semicolon at the end of this line. So one way you might want to add in that semicolon is to press your arrow keys and go all the way to the end of the line to add in your semicolon. But frankly, that's going to take a lot of time, especially for longer lines. So the shortcut that you can use here is actually Shift A. And what Shift A does is that it automatically brings you into insert mode and then you can immediately add in your semicolon over here. So Shift A will help you to append to the end of a line. But what if your error or your mistake was at the start of the line? So for instance, what you can do in this case is you can do Shift and 6. So Shift 6 is basically the caret symbol and that brings you to the start of the line where you can immediately press I to get into insert mode and start typing in your changes. So here I don't have any mistakes so I'm just going to leave it at this. Escape to go back into normal mode and let's say now I want to call this method Fave shortcut. So I'm just going to go down here and what you might want to do now is now that you know about Shift A, you might want to do Shift A and press Enter to start typing in Fave shortcut. But a more efficient way to do this is actually just to use the O key. So in normal mode, if you go to this line, line 7, and you press O, you will immediately insert a new line at line 8 and then you can start typing in your edits. So here I'm just going to say Fave shortcut. Call this method and now we're done. Escape. And now that you've made your changes, you've fixed your bugs, what you want to do is to save and quit. Again, what you might want to do is to do colon WQ to write and quit to save your changes. And this, of course, it works, but an even faster way to do this is to, if let's say I made a change here and I want to save these changes, I can escape to get into normal mode and then I can press Shift ZZ. So Shift ZZ, it will actually automatically save and quit your changes. So if I go back into Vim, you see that my changes are registered here. All right, so now we're at this point where I've made some changes that we don't actually want. So these full and bar words, how are we going to delete them? So one way we could do this is to jump to the end of the line and start backspacing. And of course that works, but an even faster way to do this is to actually use DW, which stands for delete word, and that's going to delete a word for you. So if I do it twice, then those words are gone. And in fact, if you actually know the number of words that you want to delete, what you can do is actually you can do D2W to delete two words. Another very useful shortcut that's quite similar is the CIW shortcut, which stands for change in a word. So if I do CIW, you notice that firstly we delete the word, and secondly we have entered insert mode. So what we can do is actually we can start typing our changes just like that. So CIW to change the inner word. Of course, if you just did CW, this would still work. But CW doesn't work all the time because let's say you are in the middle of a word and you press change word to change this word, it will only change the characters that come after your cursor. So the one that I use most frequently is CIW. So let's say I'm in the middle of a word and I want to change it completely, then I will do CIW just to change it to let's say private and then escape to get into normal mode again. Again, there are quite a few variants for the DW and CW shortcuts, but these are the ones that I find most useful and convenient for myself. So feel free to explore other variants on your own. Okay, so now that we've seen how to edit words, now we're gonna look at how to edit lines. So let's say I have an extra line here that I want to delete. One way to do this is I could enter insert mode and press backspace to delete all the extra spaces. But a very quick way to do this is actually to press D twice. So DD, we actually delete that line and push up your other code. What if you don't want to delete a line but instead copy and paste a line repeatedly? Let's say I have a print statement that I want to copy and paste. To copy this line, we can use YY to copy. Basically what YY does is that it yanks your line. Yank is basically just a fancy term for copying. So once you yank the line, you can paste it using the letter P. And that's going to paste the line that you copied right below the current line. And then we can keep pasting as many lines as we want after that. But here let me just stick with two, or rather let's just stick with one. So we can delete lines, yank lines, and paste lines. What if we want to do this for multiple lines, right? So let's say I want to copy and paste lines 2 to 4. So instead now, before we do our copying and pasting, we need to select this text. So to do that, we need to enter this mode called visual mode. 
So you might already be familiar with normal mode and insert mode. Normal mode is the mode that we are currently in. Insert mode is the mode that if let's say I press O, I've entered insert mode. But the visual mode, on the other hand, is when you press V. So if I press V, you notice that I enter the visual mode at the bottom corner here. And what I can start doing is I can use my arrow keys or the HJKL keys to select text. But in this case, if I want to select multiple lines, then instead of just doing V, which although it works, it's not as fast or as convenient as you would like. So the shortcut that I will use is Shift V to enter visual line mode. So this will select multiple lines. So just by using the arrow keys or the JK keys, you can select multiple lines like this. So let's say I want lines 2 to 4. I've selected these lines. To copy again, you can press Y just to yank the lines. And now we're back in normal mode. And to paste the lines, I can press P to paste. Or let's say you want to select some text to delete. If I want to delete this method, I can do Shift V to enter visual line mode. Select the lines that I want to delete. Press D and straight away it's gone. And now I have an extra line. I can press DD to delete this line again. And then save my changes. Just like that. Alright, so let's say you have made some really drastic changes and you want to undo those changes. Let's say I mistakenly deleted that method. Then what I can do is I can press U to undo these changes. So pressing U, I get back here. But now let's say I change my mind yet again and I want to redo my changes. So U was for undoing your changes. If you want to redo your changes, it's not going to be just R. Just pressing R in Vim is going to bring you into the replace mode where you're going to replace a single letter. But what we want here is to redo changes, so we need to press Ctrl R. And then you can redo any changes that you've made without having to get into visual line mode and selecting the text and deleting the text again. So that's way more convenient. One last shortcut that I would like to show you that I find is really underrated is the dot command. So the full stop or the dot will basically redo the last change that you made to your work. So let's say using the previous example where we selected this text and copied it, and then we pasted it here. What? we can actually do. Instead, if you want to redo this many, many times, I can just press the dot command and it's going to paste that right below. So Vim is going to remember the last change that you made and it's going to apply that whenever you press the dot command. So if I go back and say this time I want to change my public into private. Now what I can do is I can do CIW to change the inner word and I'm going to change it to private. And if I want to change the methods here to be private as well, one way is I could do CIW and make the changes again, but frankly that's a bit troublesome when all I could do is press the dot command and straight away change all of these publics into privates. Just like that. So what's happening is that Vim is going to change the inner word wherever you are at. So let's say I'm at this word, if I change the inner word to private, this is what happens. But in this case, I just want everything to be public, so let's go back. Alright, so that's 7 different shortcuts that you can use in Vim to really speed up your editing process. These are the shortcuts that I personally use very frequently, so I hope you find them useful as well. If you do have any shortcuts of your own, feel free to share in the comment section below. If you liked the video, do share it with anyone who might find it useful as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.